Okay, Miss Atkinson. Okay, tell me uh, what happened after we got off the phone. After we got off the phone, I was sitting here. Um, I contacted the lawyer. He said that he was going to start to see if he could take this case to a federal court. And then I seen her pulling up in somebody else's car. One of the girls from the facility let her use their car to come and find me because she said when she came out, they gave her her ID, and they told her to get off the premises that she would no longer be able to visit my son either. And that if she didn't get off the premises, they were going to lock her up. They were going to call the sheriff and lock her up for trespassing. Okay, so they threw both of you out and accused you of dealing drugs, even though neither one of you had any drugs. Right, and they told her that they were going to give her a sonogram to see if they found any drugs inside of her. So she told them to give me a sonogram. It doesn't matter. I don't have anything. They, they threatened to give her a sonogram. Yeah, they told her that they were going to give her a sonogram to see if she had any drugs inside of her. They asked her if she knew what a sonogram was. She said yes, and they told her, well, we're going to take you to get a sonogram to see if you have anything on and they read her her rights also, but they told her she wasn't under arrest. Okay, do you think that what they did to you is in retaliation because we, we reported that they abused your son? I know so, and my son still haven't received any medical treatment yet. And I know he's hurting and crying, crying out with me. And he's hungry, he hasn't eaten since August 14th. Okay, well we're going to file a report with the Justice Department immediately your video is already up uh, up on the web page now. It's already posted. I just put it up there. So if there's any further abuse, you're not going to be the only one to hear about it. The whole world will know. Now, I want to make sure that you're safe now. Now, are you guys out of the parking lot and away from that facility? Yes, yes, we are. Okay, and you're not going back there, right? No, we have to go back over there at 9 o'clock to pick up the girls, but I'm not going to go on their premises. I'm going to just talk, like, outside, and if they see the van, they can yeah, my suggestion is do not go back on that property for any reason. And they do have cameras everywhere. So just assume that if you set, set one foot on that property, you could be arrested. If you can get the other women over to you to come across the street, or if you can call them on the cell phone, that would probably be wise. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, well, listen, get yourself home safely. I have not stopped working on your son's case. Please give me a call tomorrow or Monday morning. I'm going to fax a letter over to the correctional facility in a few moments, and I'm going to let them know that we are watching this and that we've posted the video on our website. Okay, you're welcome, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. Drive safely, okay? Okay, will I be able to see the video on the website? If you go to policeabuse.com, our conversation is playing on the front page right now. Oh yes, it's gonna keep. I'm gonna leave it up there until I, at least through Monday. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Okay. You're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Uh huh. Bye bye.